All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you how to partition a device. Now, if you guys have no idea what that means, let me explain what partitioning is and also when you would want to do it. So, for example, let's say that you just went out and you bought a laptop from Best Buy. Now, you got home and it came pre installed with Windows, and you're looking at it and you're like, you know what? It would be pretty cool if I could install Ubuntu on this as well. But, of course, that's impossible. One operating system per hard drive, right? Well, what a lot of people don't know is you can actually take that hard drive and break it up into different chunks. Now, this is called partitioning, and whenever you partition a hard drive, in other words, break it up into different parts, you can install an entirely new operating system on each part. So, with one hard drive, you can actually have Windows on it, and then on a different part of the hard drive you can have Ubuntu and then on a different part you can have you know another distribution of Linux so that's a way that you can have multiple operating systems on the same hard drive you can also do this uh, with USB drives so if you want to carry around a USB drive with a bunch of different operating systems on it or you know broken up for whatever reason you can do it and it's really useful and it's really cool so let's figure out how the heck to do it now in this example what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be getting a USB drive that I found at the bottom of my closet and I'm going to be playing around with this however whenever you're using a virtual machine and you plug a USB drive into your computer then Windows or your host machine is going to try to read it and we actually want our virtual machine to read it because you know this is a Linux tutorial so what we need to do is we need to tweak these settings so if you just select your virtual machine and go to edit virtual machine in the USB controller right here make sure you have show all USB input devices checked right here and just hit OK I already have it checked so anyways whenever you select that and we plug a USB drive into our, our computer then our virtual machine is going to be able to recognize it so let me just play this and we'll be good to go alright guys so I am now in Ubuntu and before you plug your USB drive in make sure that this is the active window so just click somewhere in the background and now when I plug in my USB drive it's in my hand right now let's go ahead and slide that in the computer hopefully Ubuntu should recognize it and boom there we go so that's my USB drive again brand new nothing on it um, it's kinda old actually a 32 gigabyte so let's close out of that and let me open up my terminal so I can show you guys something change that so you guys can see a little bit better and alright so in order to um, better understand how partitions work I actually want you guys to download this tool called gparted and this is a visual editor so you guys can actually visually see um, you know partitions being made in all your different devices so if you run sudo apt minus git install gparted I already have it installed so it's just going to update for me. So what it's going to do for you is it's going to go online, find it, and install this program on your computer. And in order to run it, all you do is you write sudo gparted, and then it's going to pop open. So let me minimize this. And this is gparted right here. How beautiful is that? All right. Now, before we actually start partitioning our USB drive, breaking it up into chunks, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how Linux is different than Windows as far as naming conventions go. So whenever you're with Windows and you know you want to go to your hard drive, you're going to look for something called C. Maybe you plug the USB drive in there, you're going to look for a drive name called E. So Windows, what it does is whenever it has a new disk or device, it labels them with letters. C, D, E, uh, you know, maybe F. Well, Linux is a little bit different. Now, right now, I only have two main devices, my hard drive and the USB drive. So in this top right corner, we're going to see that those are labeled Dev SDA and Dev SDB. Now, my hard drive is only 20 gigabytes because I'm on a virtual machine, but usually this main one will be a little bit better, or excuse me, a little bit bigger. Now, if I were to plug another USB drive in, that would be Dev SDC and then dev sdd so basically any new device you have in whether it's your hard drive a usb drive or whatever it's going to have a new 
letter. So just remember that Linux is different than Windows in that aspect because your different devices follow a different naming convention. So let me just keep my hard drive selected and I want to show you guys something else. So if you guys are like, okay, so this is all your hard drive you're looking at right now, then what the heck is all this? SDA1, SDA2, SDA5. Well, whenever you have different partitions on the same drive, then they label those with a different number. So SDA1 is one part of your hard drive. SDA2 is another part of your hard drive. And these could be SDA3, 4, 5, so on and so forth. Now unallocated, this means that this part of the hard drive, it doesn't have any partition assigned to it. You know, we didn't do anything with that yet. So basically, this is all my hard drive right here. And we can see that it's broken up into different chunks called partitions. Now, if I switch over to the USB drive I just plugged in, this is uh, a little bit more easy to understand. So whenever they sold the USB drive, they just stuck one huge partition on it. And of course, it's SDB, which is the device, one. Now, whenever we add another partition, that's going to be SDB2, SDB3, depending on how many partitions we add to it. And of course, with each of these partitions, if we wanted to, we can install an entirely new operating system. But let's uh, not get ahead of ourselves right now. Now, I know that this is kind of overwhelming, but I just want to explain one more thing before we actually start, uh, you know, looking around and actually deleting this partition and making new ones. And that is whenever you make a partition, what you're going to do is you're going to set aside a certain amount of space. For example, let's set aside 8 gigabytes, uh, theoretically. So we have our partition, 8 gigabytes set aside, and then the next thing we have to do is we're going to make a file system on it. So a file system is just saying how your files are going to be organized on that partition. So once you have your file system, you're going to mount it or lock it on your partition. So again, you have a, a disk, you're going to break it up into partitions. You're going to make a file system that says this is how the files are going to be organized. And then once it's you know created, you're going to mount it on. So that's all we're going to do. So now let's go ahead and get our hands dirty.